Hey guys, what's going on? Trigger Happy John coming at you with another near reincarnation video, guys. So today's video we're gonna be talking about is the notices. I'm sure you noticed it in game. Uh, we have stuff coming. Now you you will have noticed over the last couple weeks now on the channel, we've kind of been going through uh, daily things to be doing, working on to get ready for subjugation. Uh, right now we do have some uh, different uh, daily events going on, or not events, sorry, but uh, daily gifts being given to us to kind of ramp up and get us kind of hype and ready and excited for subjugation. That's going to be that uh, thousand gems that was noted. I, I want to say a few days back, I did a video on it. Definitely check back on previous videos and you'll see it. But uh, so today we're just going to cover the, the new the new stuff that's been dropped and the information that we have uh, and kind of get you guys kind of prepped and my take on it. So first things first, we're going to talk about is the Daily quest drop rate times two campaign on now. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, the daily quests are really nice to, to go and do. I mean, you really want to do them quite often. You want to hold about a hundred of the uh, different evolution type gems. They definitely help you out a lot. And I like to keep about a hundred on me at all times, just in case you never know if you're going to go to do a summon and you're going to get that four star uh, weapon of some sort that really will make and break the, the loadout that you're currently using. So having those extra hundred makes it really nice. That way you can just go ahead and immediately go in, evolve them, and then you're done. So that being said, two times drop rate campaign. That's amazing. That means you're going to get a lot of those gems. So as you can see here, this quest drop campaign has begun as of October 12th. It's October 13th as of recording this. So it's already live. Now, if we go down here, it looks like this is going to be live until the 24th. So they're going to give us 12 days, which is really, really nice. I do like that. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's move forward from there. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, Subjugation Conquest Packs on sale now. Oh, God, guys, this is uh, this is the money grab. This is the money grab. We're going to go look at the packs right after we cover this and kind of... Uh, We'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it for sure. Whether or not, like, you know, if it's going to be worth it, if it's not. So let's see what they say here. This is a message from the management team. I'm sure it is the management team. They, they want the money. The prices for the various subjugation conquest, pa conquest packs were listed in JPY within this notification. So we have removed the price listing from the notification for the pricing in your country reason, region's currency. Please check the premium shop. Okay, so what they're saying here is they originally lo they they went to go post this and it was all in a in a different currency than what all of us use, right? Because all of our currency is different here in the global version. Uh, you know, like for me, it's USD. For Canada, it's C Canadian. You know, you got Europe uh, with their euros and everything else. Uh, and I'm so sorry if I left out your country origin uh, with your currency as well. But yeah, so they can't really list the pricing. Uh, and it's not really fair if they do list it in just USD or, or however the case may be. All right, so the limited time premium packs are now available for purchase as of October 12th. Okay, so we'll go look at those in just a second. Um, looks like they're going to kind of just go through and tell us what these are. So you know what, guys? Instead of actually just reading these and kind of going over, I'm going to go pull up. Let's go pull up the shop itself premium shop here all right so here we go here is the limited time packs i will go ahead and read them from left to right as well as note the price point so okay so we got the subjugation conquest pack a this is an 80 dollar pack similar to the we have an 80 dollar pack where is it at i don't think i bought it this month yet nope we have the weapon ascension pack which gives you a black pearl and a insignia i feel like this is a good deal so let's see what this one offers so this is going to offer a black pearl. So that that's already a good start. How many uh, how many gems is this going to give you? It's going to give you ten thousand paid gems. Okay, a black pearl, great. Okay, an advanced handbook. So this is essentially a guaranteed dupe of a character. Uh, that's very valuable in itself. The gold is really thirty k. That's all the gold you're going to give us. Uh, that's pitiful. Uh, that that has no value to me as far as towards that eighty dollars. Uh, but the 10,000 gems with the Black Pearl and the Advanced Handbook, let's compare that to the Premium Pack like I was just talking about here, guys. So, Premium Pack, this one's a good deal as well. 10,000 gems, so it's going to be the same. It's going to give you the Black Pearl, and instead of the Insignia of Quality, it's going to give you the 10 Handbooks, which is Guaranteed Dupe. 
but this one also gives 60k gold. I, guys, I don't know why they messed up the gold rating on that one. I would I would consider this a buy myself, uh, especially if you are lacking and you have some of the older characters like uh, the near Automata banner, uh, even like the Replicant banner if you weren't able to get the characters you really wanted, so on and so forth. I would highly recommend it that way you get the advanced handbooks. They're going to help you out. Subjugation is coming. You're going to only going to be able to use the same character one time. Uh, so you definitely want to make sure that you're varying this because you're going to have to use nine different characters. So that's definitely worth it. Now let's look over here. So we've got a $50 pack and it looks like this is gonna have advanced handbooks in it as well. So let's see what they're valuing advanced handbooks at. All right, so 6,100 gems. That's okay. Um, I would have liked to see that a little higher uh, for, for 50 bucks anyways, but I mean, we're getting the advanced handbooks. That's gonna be the offset of that. 25K gold. Guys, it's 5K gold less than the $80 pack, really. See, they, they obviously don't know how to price gold in this game. Um, this one is going to be, I would say this is like a whale special, to be honest, you're going to end up buying two of these to get, uh, to get your automatic advanced handbook, which is going to give you 1200, uh, 1200, 200, or sorry, 1400 gems. Right. And, uh, I just don't see the real value in this one, unless you have, you know, the hundred dollars to spend, if that's what you're looking for. Um, honestly, I would say that this $80 pack is still going to be your better option because it gives you the black pearl with the 10 handbooks with 10 K gems. I don't feel that the extra 2000 gems that you could get by purchasing for this is worth that extra $200. Cause that's essentially what this is, it, or sorry, not $200, extra $20 in this case. Cause this is 80, this is 50 or so it'd be a hundred dollars for this $20 more and you wouldn't be able to get the black pearl and I don't value a black pearl worth 200 gems. So I, I feel like this is a bad value. Uh, let's see here. What's this this $50 one here? Details. Okay, 6K gems, black pearl. Yeah, you see, they, this is a money grab. I don't like this even the slightest, guys. I, I, I'm going to recommend you not buy either one of these. Uh, this $80 one, 100%, I agree. That one's good. I don't like either of these. Let's go look at the $40 pack, see what this looks like. Okay, this is for almost 5,000 gems. Now keep in mind, guys, this is for $40. For $50, you can get 6,000 gems. Okay, so $10 less, you lose, you know, about 1,000 gems. Not the end of the world here. Uh, and then we get insignia of skill and two insignia qualities. Now, this is very notable because as you're leveling weapons, you're going to really want to have, honestly, you're going to want four of these to really max out your weapon. So the fact that they're giving you two of these, that's a pretty decent value. Gold, once again, is at 20K. I don't know what they're doing with this, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this one's a pretty fair offer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, I'm willing. I'm willing to say this is a fair offer. Okay, so let's keep going down here. What do we have? So this is going to be a twelve dollar or thirteen dollar pack here. Sixteen hundred paid gems. Okay. Uh, weapon enhancement is great. Is it worth thirteen dollars with sixteen? I mean, because you're still looking at it, you can have to buy a couple of them to get a uh, to be able to do a ten pull. So you're looking at twenty six bucks. I I don't. I'm not seeing the value there. I'm not seeing it at all. All right. Let's keep, let's keep going. Subjugation conquest pack F. Um. So this is gonna be an instant pass for me. For 20 of these guys, I mean, you can easily get these in your events. Uh, we have the two times daily going on right now. Go farm these these um, these gems here, guys, because I really would hate to see you guys spend $13 to buy these. It's not worth it. Terrible value. Um, so what else we got here? All right, so we got $13 again here. So it's going to be probably 16,000 again. Yes, and this is going to give you 50 of these. Now, these I may I would say if you're going to spend, you know, if you just want to spend a little bit of money, I would probably recommend these because as you can see here, guys, if I click on this one, pure machine oil, I have zero myself that 50 could go pretty decently. But the other problem with these guys is yeah, you can buy these and it's quicker, but you can also farm them. So it's not like it's the end of the world. Um, you can go farm them and the daily missions and, or not daily missions, sorry, in the, uh, the main story climb missions and get these materials. So really, if you're willing to put in just a little bit of work, you can get these. That's why I would say these aren't really like, I wouldn't prioritize getting these because you can always get these by just farming, all right? You're going to equate this to the cost of stamina. These ones up here, now these are different. These are kind of limited. These are your, uh, this, these are gonna be your better offers because you're not gonna be able to just go in and farm for these materials. 
you're not gonna be able to go farm the advanced handbooks the black pearls the insignias you're not gonna be able to do it so i do feel like you know these are a better deal especially that 80 dollars one that's gonna be the best deal so far let's keep moving down here so now we're getting into the 13 dollar one these are for your meteorites i call them and uh i mean it is what it is uh same thing you can go farm these as well guys now this last pack the four dollar pack this is the uh the four dollar budget pack now this is 490 paid gems large weapon enhancement meh it's not that great but let's see here so you can buy 10 of those so for 40 bucks 40 dollars would get you 4,900 gems and if you come over here to what 40 dollars would get you up top here you see what they did there so really you would be kind of wasting money honestly guys if you were to buy uh buy this four dollar one because i mean if you're gonna buy it chances are you're gonna buy a few of them might as well be why spend the 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 what you would spend for all 10 of them go up here and buy this conquest pack d i mean this one is fairly good i'm gonna recommend that one over by either one of these 50 dollar packs so not bad so with that being said let's go ahead and pop back into the notices and cover the rest of the announcement all right, so let's go ahead and let's talk about what else we have on this notice here. So let's see, elemental summons on now. What does this mean? What are we doing here? So I'm gonna go on a limb here and say this is gonna be something with the elementals. Uh, yeah, and it looks like it will be. Fire elemental summons, this summons video, the f or that video, <laughs> uh, the following characters have weapons increased rates, okay. So it's gonna say the band of this banner here, you're gonna get a chance to get the 63Y prisoner and Griff abstract captain, very strong, very, very strong uh, gun wielder, okay? So we're gonna have a raid up for them. It looks like we're gonna have a water elemental summons, okay? This is gonna be for Fio, okay, and Akia, I like that. Uh, wind elementals, so we got Bloody Gale, or yeah, Gale, the Bloody Hunter. So for those of you who missed out on that banner, you're gonna be able to get her again, that's awesome. Lars, Lars is great, especially with his weapon, Blade of Judgment. Gale, the, the basic Gale, this is your, your main Gale here. Wretch Blade, also an amazing wind weapon, guys. So this, I like the, really like this wind banner. I feel like if you get any, pull any three of these, you're in good shape. Let's look at what else we got. We got White Elf Elemental. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So, so those who missed F66 here, you can be able to get her with her staff. That's gonna be awesome. Um, Rion, Fio, Argo. Um, okay, it's not terrible. Definitely not terrible. These are gonna be the light specialist uh, characters. So yeah, it looks like what they're wanting to do here. If we keep going down for the dark characters, yeah, they're just gonna do. They're just basically trying to capitalize on the fact that subjugation. You guys are really gonna have to pay attention to your loadout and your team because you're gonna have a three-way battle. With that three-way battle, you're gonna be facing different affinities of the subjugation boss. So it's gonna challenge you to be able to push and finish the fight and do the best that you can. And it's gonna really require you to play on the affinities. I've, I've got many videos talking about it and getting ready for it already. I'm gonna release another couple videos showing you how to get ready for this and do a breakdown as well as I'm gonna try to do a video uh, actually interviewing a JP player to have them kind of give uh, us a little insight as far as what they see and what they deal with when playing subjugation. Okay, so elemental summons, not bad. I mean, I can definitely see what they did here. You know, they give us the conquest packs now before subjugation launches, as well as these elemental summons, because we don't 100% know what we're doing yet, guys. So they're saying, hey, if you're lacking in this element, go summon with all those, uh, those gems you just bought from these packs. I'm gonna leave that decision up to you. I would say probably hold off, guys, because you know here in a couple of days, we're gonna get to chapter 12 and we're gonna get another banner, so. All right, so what else do we have here? New quest feature, Subjugation coming soon. Subjugation will be available as of October 18th. That is awesome. Um, you know what, guys? I'm probably gonna break this up here. Or no, I won't. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll cover this all in one video. We'll just make it a little longer. Uh, so it looks like they're gonna be talking about what is going on for Subjugation. So we got wave one, two, and three. We kind of already knew that. This quest type is to build up damage, earn high scores against giant bosses, okay? Yeah, it's gonna be going off of your personal best for damage. You fight against the bosses of the five different affinities. This is why they have those different summoning things, okay? It's a mock battle. Your score will not be accorded and you will not receive rewards, but you can challenge the quest as many times as you want and test out your loadout for the real battle. This is awesome. I do like that they're telling you like, hey, there's a mock battle. 
uh, that you can do that will not cost you anything and you can kind of just try try the fight ahead of time so you know what you're getting into and how to prepare i do like that they put that in there because i've heard that subjugation can be very challenging and you may have some really good strategies and thoughts but sometimes it gets a little goofy there so okay next moving on here challenging bosses subjugation battle medals to trade for fabulous rewards awesome Challenging the bosses will earn you a score. Depending on the score, you can earn various items as score rewards. Collect subjugation battle coins from score rewards. Exchange them for special rewards like Zenith's Brilliance. Awesome. And Black Pearl. That is amazing. Zenith's Brilliance is still the plague and uh, the bane of my existence. So I do like that they have that in here. Check the upcoming notice for more details about this quest. Awesome. Okay. Also, unlock all daily quests during this period. All daily quests will be unlocked from Monday to Sunday. So, okay, so as of right now, I'm gonna be posting this video live. Uh, right now, all, all of them are open. So now it's a free for all farm what gems you really need to. This is great, especially so you don't have to spend extra on that one pack and then have these gems and have a two times going as well. So this is awesome. Definitely go out and get the ones you need to focus on the weapons. I don't know if you noticed, but we also got a bunch of uh, XL weapon enhancements in our inbox. I think this is a, this is their key to say, hey, hey guys, get ready. This is coming. Let's get get you prepared. So that's okay. I, I like this. Also, guys, it looks like what is this? The forty eight hour jump start pack. What is this? Um. Wow, this is really old. Why is this? Uh, why is this going across the top here? What what's, what's going on here, guys? That's that's weird. All right. Well, I don't know why that's floating across the top of news. But uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right, guys, we're back. So uh, that was that was funny. I'm not sure why that was going across the top there. So uh, that's entertaining a little bit for me. All right, so let's look at this here, guys. So this is gonna be your fire, your water, your wind element. Now, it does look like there is no limit on these at all. They are costing the full price of the 3000 gems per pool. Um, it, that's cool, I guess. I'm not seeing a pity on these either. I kind of have mixed feelings about these guys. Let's see what the drop rates are on one of them. They'll kind of tell us what to think of and work with here. So it looks like it's going to be the same drop rates as normal, 2 3%. And it looks like, yeah, you're going to get that special rate up bonus for the uh, the characters mentioned on the foretold banner. Okay, I mean, it's that's okay. It's not the, it's not the best thing in the world, but that's not bad, guys. Uh, especially if this is what you're looking for. I just really don't like that there's no pity on these banners either. Granted, I don't think you guys will be summoning that hard on these as well. I think this is just like a quick buy in to get people to spend money, but that's my personal opinion. So take it for what you will. And obviously we still have the Dragon Guard three banner going on right now. And we're gonna have that going on until the 7th of the November. So yeah, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you uh, you, you kind of had the same thought process as me. If not, please let me know down in the comments below. I would appreciate all the feedback. And yeah, guys, until next time. Peace.